emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper, and we're mobile here on the way to meet the Moscow Prepper. We're going to take the Bug Out Bag radio to his winter camp and set that up and try to do some uh, emergency communications testing with the Bug Out Bag radio while uh, the Moscow Prepper makes his own videos at the same time, and we'll try to mix them together uh, doing some bushcraft. And right now, I'm driving here in Moscow. If you're looking at a clock, I'm probably at the 10 o'clock position in Moscow and i got to cut all the way through town to get over to the 2 o'clock position where I'm going to meet the Moscow Prepper here in one hour. But I'll leave this camera run a little bit and I'll try to edit it up. Uh, driving here in Moscow, it, it, it could be a sport. So let me get back to driving here and I'll leave the camera on for you. Okay guys, I made it out to the Moscow Preppers uh, winter camp here, and we've been filming some video for his channel. I brought the bug out bag radio, I got the laptop, the antenna tuner, the radio itself, the data modem, the battery, the uh, band plan laminated sheet I did a previous video on, of course the manual, and we're actually warming up our MREs, have something to eat here, there's mine getting warm, and what we did here is got the coax coming out of the back of the radio here. I'm using the bug out bag antenna, which is up here. Here's the Budwig dipole adapter. And this is the 14 megahertz dipole antenna strung out in the trees. And I come over here, see if uh, see if the Moscow Prepper wants to make a cameo appearance and say hello. Hello guys. He's Welcome to the Collins Prepper channel. And the best part of these, uh, best part of today's videos are gonna be on the Moscow Prepper channel because he was running a lot of the video while we were making our data connections. But I would say we walked a good two, two and a half yeah. miles to get out here. And it was a hump. And we got everything set up here. So I'm going to pause here, eat, and then we'll try to capture some communications taking place for the Collins Prepper channel with the Bug Out Bag radio set up here in the field. Okay guys, chow's over. In our MREs. I'm going to fire up the radio here and do another test email. And for the Moscow Preppers channel, we went ahead and sent a test email over this system here, HF radio, down to Bulgaria. And I've done this from the from the house before for you guys, but this time you can see it actually being done in the field. So I'll go ahead and repeat that again for my video that I'm going to post. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, email it to Moscow Preppers phone. Sorry to have his address in the computer. So. Let me sit, pause here, sit down on this bench, and I'll get that email drafted up. We'll go ahead and send it. Okay, guys, I got a test message here. I'm going to post this to the outbox, addressed to the Moscow Prepper. 
and it's in the outbox and I'm going to go ahead and try to initiate a connection to the station down in Bulgaria. So I'm going to hit the start button. <coughs> Radio is transmitting. Modem's working. And hopefully we'll pick that station up and we'll get to send this message out and then we can show it coming in here on the Moscow Prepper's cell phone. That we can. There we go. There's a station in there. So this is five watts from Moscow, Russia, to all the way down to Bulgaria. That's quite a that's a good distance. So that's, that's a packages or something it's sending now? If they're packets, so the two stations are negotiating. And then we'll go ahead and I'm still setting that up. And you'll start seeing progress here where it says my radio yeah. report that I had a message outbound. And then we'll go ahead and send it. And the station in Bulgaria will go ahead and put it into the internet for us. reporting an outbound message so we're going to send that message and then you'll see a green status bar up here oh that's pretty fast showing that message going out oh there's some interference whoops that's not a good sign oh that's interference or that's another station stepping on it Might have been. There we go. It went anyway. Ooh. Even with the interference. So even with that real strong interference, we were still able to get that message out. So that noise there is not that station in Bulgaria. But that Pactor protocol still was able to punch through that. And with 5 watts, I was able to send that message from here in Russia and momentarily I'll take the phone from the Moscow mm -hmm. prepper and he should be able to log into his phone here and we'll see that message there. Last updated 27 minutes ago, we'll see. There's the old one. There's the old, there's the old message that we sent as a test for his channel. So we'll get this here a minute, see if uh, the new message comes in. So how this works while we're waiting for that message that is the it's your call sign <coughs> so you R3 CU. one on red so one on red so there we go and there's there it is there's and the message test, test from comms prepper to moscow prepper now what he could do here is actually hit reply Should and do it? yeah go ahead he can hit reply and send test back and then we can actually reconnect And I'll actually take in an email. Test so, back. So he's going to hit send. Send. So that's going to go to his internet service provider here in Moscow, Russia. Whoops, and it's sent. To address to the winlink.org system. <clears throat> and winlink.org will throw that out, out on the radio network. And my next connection, it'll tell me I have one message inbound. Are we actually, able to see it here or what? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to give him. We'll do is here. I'll pass this over to the Moscow prepper yes. here, and we'll get back down and we'll reconnect. Hopefully, we don't have the interference that we had. Okay, guys, we took a break here and took the antenna down and repositioned it to better point it down towards Bulgaria. Had the broad side of the antenna pointed that way. So where before it was running this way, now the antenna is running this way. So we're going to try again to see if we can uh, connect to that station and pull that me message down that Moscow Prepper sent me with this phone. Yeah, they're running east-west now. Yep, and I'm gonna give Moscow Prepper the camera. Go ahead and hit the start button. We'll hope for the best. It'll come again. Okay guys, we got a connection. We rearranged the antenna. And now we're actually connected to, I believe the station's in Greece. Uh, the call sign, and I'm going to have to look this up, is Sierra 5-1-S-L-O. 
But we definitely got a good connection. So we should uh, have that message from Moscow Prepper waiting for us. Connected into the system. Yeah, something's happening. Let's see if that message is there. We got one inbound message. So we're receiving that message from the Moscow prepper. And we got that message. So we'll go and turn that volume down there so it doesn't drive you crazy. We'll come over here and we'll go to the inbox. And there we go. I've got message from the Moscow Prepper, test back. Test back. Sent from my Windows phone. <laughs> so there you go. That shows you that you know if you're patient and you're willing to read. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where my memory card filled up. But anyway, this unit here is a portable battery. It does 19 volts, 16 volts, or 12 volts, selectable by switch. And you have your outputs here. So you also got a USB output. And then the output here with this cable. And the cable comes with a dozen or so of these adapters. So depending on what type of connector tip you need for your electronic device, chances are this kit has it. So I only brought the tip out today to connect to the laptop here. But my battery still seems to have held up pretty well. But this is a good thing to add to your bug out bag because you can charge laptop computers, you can charge phones because there's a USB port on it. And this is a pretty big battery. I don't know what the milliamp hour is here. It? This is, it's not that heavy. Let's see if I've got my old man glasses on here. Uh, this is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So that's oh. it's a significant battery. And again, you push the button here, it'll tell you how much charge you have. So this is a good thing to add to the bug out bag, if you can handle the weight. So I'll go ahead and pause here. And I think we've done enough combo today. Maybe we'll do some bushcraft yeah. here with the Moscow Prepper. <laughs> and as always, thank you for watching my videos and watching my channel. This has been the comms prepper with the Moscow Prepper, doing a field test of the bug out bag radio at the Moscow Prepper's winter camp, yeah. Moscow, Russia. Yeah. 73, y'all. <laughs> Okay guys, there's the bug out bag radio there. I'm gonna pack it up in that backpack there and haul it out of here like I got it in here. And I got the dipole antenna, the Toshiba laptop, and any laptop will work. The radio's in that box there, and all I did was get some camo spray paint from the Walmart and bubbled it up. And I got the modem on the top, and that's the battery, we ran it. And I'll get throw it in that bag there, and we'll haul it out of here. Moscow Prepper's breaking his stuff down there. Hello. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up here. I'll take this uh, shelter hat down, fold that up, put that in the bug out bag, take it out of here. And I just want to say thanks to the Moscow Prepper for letting me use his winter camp to do a field demonstration of the bug out bag radio in Moscow, Russia. Camp's broke down. Everything's in the bug out bag. A little bag of trash over there. And we're going to I'm gonna roll over to the GoPro camera. I got the head strap on and try to videotape a little bit walking out of here. It's a pretty muddy and wet place. The Moscow prepper's all packed up over there. Over there. Yep, this takes a little bit. The moose has been eating bark in uh, it's like 10, 12 feet or something. It's up there. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's a pretty big animal. These trees look familiar. Yeah, we do have. Okay guys, we're out on the 
Pascal Prepper calls it a trail. <laughs> I call it a stream. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> Be a great place for a four-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> 